Hey what's up, Ratub Tech here with another video. So for the last couple of weeks I've been using the Orimo Smartwatch R series and the specific model that I'm using is the OSW-23N which is the latest version in the series. And this is a full review and includes the key features that comes with the smartwatch, what I like about the smartwatch, my experience with the smartwatch, what I don't like about the smartwatch and in conclusion is it worth buying? And who is it meant for? So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Let's talk about the key features that come with the smartwatch. They include 1.32 inch screen, Bluetooth version 5.0, 200 mAh battery capacity, 54 grams in times of weight, one year warranty, and it comes in different colors, silver, black, green, blue, etc. And then what I like about the smartwatch. There are a lot of things that the Orimo smartwatch R comes with and the key things that I personally did enjoy interacting with include the watch face customization which are downloadable, the dial customization which has three types and the battery life. Usability of the watch is easy to use plus the two buttons on the side both act as a return and home buttons so it's pretty easy to use. Let's talk about my experience using the Orimo Watch R. So for my experience, the basic watch functions work pretty well. These include blood oxygen measurement, which can be customized for the watch to take them on hourly or at a certain time that is scheduled. Blood pressure measurement, this happens in real time and respiratory rate monitoring. The sleep quality measurement also works well, though to some extent the Orimo Watch R at times get this wrong. You know how you can be awake in bed not moving and it records it at a, as a light sleep though you are completely awake. The menstrual cycle tracker is also important for the ladies. On light usage, that is the basic day to day tracking activities, it handles that pretty well. In my experience I did get 6 days of usage and was left with 22 battery percentage. Though on heavy usage it can handle 5 days just okay, this includes turning on most of the features, raising hand to activate screen, vibration when seated for long hours and, and those for notifications and many more. The raise hand to activate might be useful but I did turn it off just 2 days into using the watch for simple fact that it doesn't really work best to my expectations and I simply find it easier to just press either one of the buttons to check on the time. You can open and close the phone camera up from the watch. You can take photos and all that. Find my watch feature or find my phone feature. All these will work but are limited to Bluetooth technology. Meaning it is as good as not being there. Considering Bluetooth is only usable within a 10 minute radius. Let's say it's kind of gimmicky with the find my watch feature. And the good thing is it works though it only vibrates and there is no notification sound. Those are some of the things that I did enjoy using on the phone. It's pretty easy to use. And here are the things that I don't like about the Orimo smartwatch are. One is the 3ATM waterproofing. This is like the basic waterproofing and if you want something you can take to swimming then this is not it. But for the basic splashes and rain it will handle that pretty well. The wristband that it comes with is pretty basic. Though the wristbands aren't my favorite you can always change them or customize them depending on your need. There's no Google Assistant. I think this is a feature all smartwatch should have. Like why not? It's 2023, right? Connectivity with messages and notification is a problem. Well, it gives you the vibration but it doesn't notify you which app is having the notification. For instance, you turn those features on, it requires a lot of permission. Some might find it creepy but uh, it requires a lot of permission to read and write the messages and blah blah blah. But it doesn't notify you exactly which app is having the notification on your smartwatch. So finally, is it worth buying the Orimo smartwatch R? In a nutshell, the answer is yes, but hear me out. Because it's affordable and it works okay and the price is fair. $50, that's pretty fair for the Orimo smartwatch R. And who would I recommend the Orimo smartwatch to? anyone who wants to track their fitness as long as they're not deep divers swimmers or mountain climbers then it's worth your while may you all have a prosperous 2022 thanks and see you around